Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to take a look at this uh, USB meter from Redang and this one is the uh, 8034. So this is the latest uh, USB uh, meter from Redang and this can only measure uh, a USB A input and it has only a USB A output. So this is the latest model from them and it comes in a small case. This is the uh, plastic case and it's, I think it's much better than the uh, tin uh, boxes that they were using previously because uh, that wasn't very practical and you are more likely to cut yourself by opening the tin can so plastic is much more usable and hopefully it's uh, much more uh, portable so let's uh, take it out and open it so as you can see this is the size of the meter very small about the size of a normal size pen drive there is your USB 3.0 USB A output and your USB A input also USB 3.0 so at the back there is only one button and it doesn't come with any other input as well as buttons so with this unit the limitation is that you can only measure uh, USB uh, A type uh, devices so if you want to measure a USB C or a micro USB uh, uh, cable you can't do that okay so uh, without any further delay let's just uh, plug it in and see how it looks so to in order to run this i'm going to use my Oki 3.0 uh, power bank the orange uh, sorry the power brick so the orange ports are your usb 3.0 compatible qualcomm fast charging compatible and the bottom uh, uh, four ports are your standard uh, port that can support up to 2.4 amp uh, from a single port so if you plug it in let's plug it in So this is the display and the meter comes with a 0.96 IPS screen in plane switching display and uh, so there, are, there there's only two uh, screen this is the first screen if you press the back button which is here if you press it you will see the second screen which is this one and in this screen you can see uh, the mode and currently it is displaying the Apple 2.4 amp charging uh, method but that is not true but that's not any problem so on top you can see the voltage uh, bottom that on the bo um, uh, bottom of that you can see the current here is your data positive and your data negative values here you can see the temperature currently it is displaying in 35 degrees celsius you can change that to fahrenheit uh, there is your data group the data groups that is in use here is your mode under that you can see the mode that is at what mode we are in and here is a broom uh, bit which basically used to uh, clear all the set data and here is your setting that will flip the screen so this is the second screen and this is the first first screen so on the first screen you see the voltage again the current uh, the capacity in uh, milliamp r and the capacity in milliwatt r on the right you can again see the temperature the data group here is your load impedance i still have no idea what that is and again you can see the power that you have consumed and again your uh, flipping screens are simple okay uh, so let me turn it on again so once you turn it on you can see it displays the Yuri Dong logo and as you can see currently it has stored some values so in this meter you will only get two sets of data group uh, data group 0 currently that we are in and data group 1 so to change all these settings all you have to do is use uh, this button so if you long press this button uh, the cursor will start moving or cycling through all these options and then if you release the cursor or any one of those options that setting will be changed so the top setting is basically your sleep so if I long press the back button and release that button on the uh, when the cursor is on this uh, top option the unit will go to sleep so if I long press the button as you can see it is start cycling through all the options and then it stops so if I want to select any of the option all I have to do is release the button at that option so if I want to make the unit go to sleep I will long press the button and then release on top as you can see I released on top that was the sleep option the unit went to sleep to wake up the unit press the button once and the unit will come back to life so again you can see the temperature is now displayed in 35 degrees in degree centigrade to change that to Fahrenheit all I have to do is long press the button and wait for the cursor to, cursor to come on the temperature setting and then release the cursor on that setting so long press the button and release 
and as you can see the setting changed from uh, uh, degree Celsius to Fahrenheit to change it back long press the button and then release on that option it again changed to 36 degrees Celsius now the next option is your uh, data group so in this unit you only get two data groups so into data group 0 uh, these values are stored when the unit is on and once you turn it turn it back on the uh, the values are forgotten or they are overridden when the value reaches 1 and if you want to change the data group to 1 long press the button and then release at that option as you can see the data group changed from 1 0 to 1 and in data group 1 uh, the values are stored and once you turn the unit off the values are remembered and then you plug it back and you plug back the unit in uh, the values are continued from that uh, previous values so values are accumulated over time and they are not forgotten so change back the group to 0 all you have to do is long press the button and release it on that option now as you can see there is some value that is stored and if you want all these zero uh, values to to be deleted and to go to zero all you have to do is click this uh, broom option that you can see here which is the fourth option from top this option so to do that long press the button and wait for the cursor, cursor to come on that option and then release the button so when i release the button you can see all the values milliamp hour as well as the milliwatt hour and as well as the power uh, went to zero and the last option is your flip screen uh, flip screen option to flip the screen so to do that long press the button wait for the cursor to come on that option and then release the button so the screen is flipped and to do the same again do the same long press the button and then release the option on the flip screen button and then we are back to the previous screen so the the, the this meter can measure the uh, Qualcomm 2.0 as well as the 3.0 uh, mode so if I press the back button once this is the mode and currently it is detecting the Apple 2.4 amp setting uh, that's that's not a problem so if I plug in a uh, Moto G5 plus uh, which supports uh, so currently we are in a uh, standard port so it will not detect any uh, any kind of uh, uh, fast charging because we are not in fast charging port which are orange colored in Oki so if I plug in a load so I've plugged in a load and if I start increasing the current you can see that the current is increasing and this charger can go up to 2.4 amps without any problems let's see and we re reach the limit of the charger so there you, there you go the charger is working and if I press the mode back button to see the mode it is still showing the Apple 2.4 ampere no problem there so if I take the uh, load out and plug it back into the uh, fast charging port in this method you can see the mode it is displaying as DCP that is direct charging uh, port 1.5 amp and I'm going to use a USB 3.0 and 2.0 trigger unfortunately that 3.0 trigger uh, function on my trigger is not working properly but still we are able to see uh, the uh, uh, 2.0 option so if I plug the trigger in you can see that the mode changed from DCP direct charging port to Qualcomm 2.0 mode and if I press the uh, 3.0 button on my trigger it cannot detect that but in 3.0 method we can increase the voltage in uh, addition of 200 millivolt so currently we are at 1.5.114 volt and if I increase the voltage it will increase in, a multi, uh, in an increment of 200 millivolt so that tells you that we are in in fact Qualcomm 3.0 technology so there you go it is able to detect Qualcomm 2.0 as well as your uh, Qualcomm 3.0 without any problem so let me take the uh, unit out and let's plug in a phone so I've got my Motorola uh, turbo charger and as you can see currently it is displaying the uh, DCP direct charging port option and my Motorola G5 plus is a 2.0 uh, capable so as you can see it is charging so 
sorry I forgot to plug the charger uh, if I plug the phone in the unit you can see it is charging and then it should change to turbo power connected so it is saying turbo power connected and if you look at the charger it is displaying the Qualcomm 2.0 without any problem and currently we are drawing about 0.2 amps at 9 volt and that is because we are uh, charged to about we are charged to about 74 percent and that's why it is drawing a little less current and there we go it changed the current to 1.2723 so there you go the charger is uh, the unit is basically working no problem there and speaking of the uh, capabilities of this meter so this meter can measure up to 3.7 volt to uh, 30 volts uh, it can measure uh, current values of 0 volt to 4 amp uh, sorry 0 amp to 4 amperes and uh, the display or the update frequency on this unit is about 2 hertz that's about uh, 2 times a second which is a little slow it could have been a little more but still it is still uh, usable I basically I really like this unit if you are somebody who needs to buy who wants to buy a USB a meter at a cheap price and want a good quality screen with the IPS screen in plane switching screen and a decent quality body which comes with a cap so that you're not going to bend the uh, input port you can definitely take a look at this uh, option and the good thing is that it also comes with a plastic box so that you can if you want to carry this unit around you can do, do that uh, without any problem simply put the unit back and then put this in the box and then close the unit okay at the bo ba bottom of the box you can see that this is the QR code you can scan this QR code to reach the uh, uh, instruction manual but uh, I pretty much explained everything that you can do with this unit and there is not, nothing much more uh, that you can do with this unit or there is nothing extra in the manual uh, that I haven't mentioned so there we go this was my video on the uh, Ruidang uh, AT34 USB meter I hope you found this video helpful I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys uh, in my next video bye